Titus, Season 1, Episode 8, Intervention, Lego. If you have a problem, no matter what it is, there's a number you can call. I stopped drinking when I was 17, on my own, because it's not good for your health, and I fell into a bonfire. <laughs> Party! I'm on my way to the keg. You know why? Why? Because it's beer o'clock. <laughs> I didn't need AA. Falling into a bonfire is a one-step program. <laughs> of course, that didn't convince me to stop drinking. It was my drunk friends trying to stomp me out. <laughs> We actually have no pictures of my father where he is not holding a beer. Water is key. <laughs> Funeral. <laughs> Parent-teacher conferences. <laughs> Intensive care. <laughs> and he was always vibrant, confident, and full of life. That was before. Recently, Dad hit bottom. And it was freaky. <laughs> Dad? I'm a rotten father. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why are you crying? I ruined your life. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I swore I would never get involved in my dad's life. But then he started blowing it. <laughs> so I had to get involved. You know, but he's my dad. I can't send him to his room or ground him or go to his first grade play and scream, look at the fairy. <laughs> I was a wood nymph. <laughs> OK, I made shrimp puffs, pizza rolls, and <laughs> pigs in a blanket. <laughs> Your dad loves those. Tommy, you don't cater an intervention. We have to get dad to face his problem with alcohol. What we need here is Love, strength, understanding, stun gun. Everyone, next to the shrimp puffs. Shrimp puff. <laughs> Get these out of here. No, this is the way I deal with stress, okay? I'm not on board with this, but if we're going to do this, we might as well have finger foods. <laughs> Take the tray into the kitchen. Yeah. Tommy, wait. Now. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go to my room. Go, fine, go. You always leave when things get rough. Where are you going? <laughs> you said I always leave. I meant it as a character flaw. I got that. <laughs> get your ass back in here and sit down. Don't yell at me. This is your deal, Titus. Dave. Titus. Dave. Titus. Guys! This never goes anywhere. Because you always interrupt it. <laughs> Christopher. Aaron. Christopher, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> quit blending and get in here. OK, no finger foods, no fruit frappes. Fine. Everyone, just listen up. Christopher is trying to do something here. Thank you. And I think it's a big mistake. You shouldn't be interfering in your father's life. Hey, I need a little support here. I am trying to protect you. And I am trying to help him. I'm trying to protect you from helping him. <laughs> you know what he's like. That's the problem. He's not like what he's like anymore. I like that. <laughs> My father has always been mean-spirited and evil. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> Except when his mean-spirited evilness is directed at you. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. 
<laughs> and I want that man back. I will do anything to hear him laugh again. All right. I'm in. Me too. Me too. <laughs> okay, that's his car. Hold me. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. Dad. Guys? No. Dave? Hey. Hepatitis? We've been waiting for you. Huh? Oh, another birthday. Another year closer to death. We shouldn't do this to him on his birthday. Dave, it's not his birthday. <laughs> Dad, it's not your birthday. But we do have a gift for you. The gift of love. Well, I hope you kept the receipt. Because <laughs> I don't deserve it. Okay, you're right, you're right. Don't walk, just start. <laughs> Pop, hmm. we think you have a problem. It's about your drinking. But I haven't had a drink for a month. Dad. We'd like you to start again. <laughs> you want me to start drinking? Well, it sounds wrong when you put it like that. <laughs> See, that's why you're depressed. Without the sweet, sweet fog of alcohol, you're seeing your pathetic life for what it really is. So this is your idea? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 I want to <laughs> Yes, I will take the heat for loving my father, because I care. I care that you've lost your lust for life. Dad, I was raised by a lusty, lustful man. <laughs> and, and now you're lustless. I want to help you find that lost lust. Well, I can't live that hard anymore. I'm getting older. What did you say? I'm getting older. Can you talk to him? Uh, <laughs> Puppy Titus. Hmm. Whatever happened to that man that could go out with three women in one night? Mm. You were a, 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 what do you call a stud on a horse farm? Stud. You were that. <laughs> when Dad was drinking, he was so smooth he could pick up any woman and did. I used to wake up with their names pinned to my pajamas so I could greet the sluts with class. <laughs> you must be Christopher. <laughs> you must be <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> Sharon. Hey, it was noisy in the bar. <laughs> Save that note in case I meet a Sheila. <laughs> the kid likes chocolate chip pancakes. Get on that, huh? When Dad stopped drinking, he started pissing women off before he slept with them. <laughs> oh, thanks for doing this, Aaron. You're a good friend. Oh, he'll love you. <laughs> Ken, this is Melissa. Hi. I'm really not dressed for company. You can bring your grandma by later. Oh. <laughs> it's at you, really. It, if he were drinking, I know he would have found you attractive. <laughs> oh, that came out wrong. One time, I don't take advantage of a woman, and that means I have to start drinking? Oh, Dad, you are in denial. I want you to admit that you have a not drinking problem. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Did you get him drinking yet? No. no. You call my boss? Hey, your son is worried about you. Ridge, I have been showing up to work. Sober. That's not the guy I hired. <laughs> Some people can't function when they're drinking. <laughs> Dad not only functioned, he was employee of the month. <laughs> you mean that you would go with cheap RBC over glass? I can't let you do that, Joe. You mean too much to me, baby. Andrea, another round, beautiful. <laughs> Are those real alligator? Mm. You like them? <laughs> I can't take your shoes. <laughs> Not without my belt, you can. <laughs> so, we're a done deal, right? <laughs> Dad wasn't drinking. And I, I want to be clever here. He just sucked. 
Yeah, it's just some old fiberglass. <laughs> Same old crap. I don't know, Ken. I'm thinking of going with radiant barrier chips. That RBC is great stuff. You want my shoes? <laughs> You never tell jokes anymore. You used to tell great jokes. Yeah, the Polish astronaut. The guy with the flashlight. <laughs> that joke isn't funny, Ridge. It's just stupid. I mean, how do you lose your keys in the vagina? <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't tell jokes anymore. I, I'm not hurting anybody. You are hurting every woman that you don't hit on. You used to make them laugh and feel beautiful. Remember Melissa? You were sober and you completely ignored her. Did that upset her? I think she was a little upset. So everybody's life sucks because I've missed a few beers. You just don't get it, do you, Dad? Dave has something to say to you. What? I, I don't... <laughs> Dad, I love you just the way you are. Wait. Hey, hey, stop it! Hey, 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 hey. All right. All right. Dad, mm -hmm. did you or did you not rent the bridges of Madison County? Oh. <laughs> what? It's a Clint Eastwood movie. Oh, no, 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 Papa Titus. It's a Meryl Streep movie that has Clint Eastwood in it. Well. I thought it was Bridge Over the River Kwai. No. <laughs> no, it was already in the VCR. Oh. oh! God's sakes, Mr. Titus, look in the mirror. This charade has gone on long enough. <laughs> charade? <laughs> Dad was Tommy's first drinking buddy. He was like a son to Dad. The lucky son who didn't live with Dad. You know why divorces cost so much, Tommy? No, Mr. Titus. Because they're worth it. <laughs> <laughs> things I could never tell my own father. Now, you're just like him. Oh, my God. You're Tommy's dad. Do you want me to be Tommy? Tommy is a nice guy. Tommy is everything you raised us not to be. Fussy, anal, neurotic. Compulsive, anxious, compulsive. <laughs> I am the grateful, loving child of your drunken abuse. Where is that abuse now? <laughs> Thank you for raising me the way you did, Dad. Without you riding my ass, I don't know how it would have turned out. But I'm pretty sure it would have involved lederhosen, toothpicks, and mini wieners. Guten Tag. My name is Hans. Please, try one of our new mesquite Vienna sausages. Dad, what do you say? Come on, Papa Titus. Don't stop being the father I never had. Dad, please drink it. Hey. I can start drinking whenever I want. <laughs> then go ahead. Drink it. Wussy. Oh. <laughs> Wussy? You heard me. <laughs> go. 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 Dad, go. Dad, go. 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 I'll see you in the morning. Well, I'll be late. <laughs> hey, thanks for helping us out, Ridge. Hey, you see a man drowning, you throw him a beer. <laughs> You've really done the right thing for all of us, Papa Titus. Oh, so you put this whole thing together, huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Don't you feel better? I do feel better. I made all the food. I bought the beer. I was behind it the whole time. Hold up. <laughs> Didn't want to interfere. Afraid to help. Stun gun. <laughs> <laughs> I made this happen. Uh-huh. Well, so I have to thank you all, but I especially want to thank you. <laughs> because I do feel better. I mean, I feel lighter. <laughs> Like the sweet, sweet fog is beginning to roll in. <laughs> Covering over my pathetic life. Isn't that the way you put it? Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> I feel just the way you must have felt the day you told Aaron you lost all that money on the 69 Charger. What money? You better swim for the lighthouse, laddie. The fog is rolling in. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
You lost money on a car you didn't tell me about? Uh, it's... Look. Look. <laughs> look, 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 Eric, look, look. <laughs> look. You took money out of our shared account? No. 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 <laughs> no, Aaron, no, no. No, no, Aaron, no. <laughs> no. Finish a sentence. <laughs> It's not what you think. He took money out of the shop. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Tommy, look, 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 look. <laughs> look. You withdrew money from the business without telling me? Did you boys just hear a foghorn? <laughs> you always hurt the ones you love. No good deed goes unpunished. I fear we have awakened a sleeping giant. Don't get your dad back to drinking, no matter how good you think it is for him, because he will disembowel you. That last one's mine. <laughs> I need to shorten it. I know what you're doing. What? You're trying to turn us all against each other. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm interfering in your life. Oh, sorry, helping. And I won't say another word about your embezzling money from the business. Oh, my God. It was a couple of thousand dollars. I was, I was up all week trying to fix those tax returns. Isn't tax fraud a felony? <laughs> So Tommy might go to prison. <laughs> he'd be fine there. <laughs> he'd find a niche. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I'm not on board with this whole riot thing, but if we're gonna do it, let's do it right. Line up. Shivs, shanks, razors. <laughs> Here, Tommy. The gift of love. You lied to me. Well, you lied to me first. So your lie takes precedence? Hey, come on. It doesn't matter who lied to who. <laughs> it was a 69 446 pack charger. Come on, I was gonna make like five grand on it, and I was gonna buy you a nice present. <laughs> but then I parked in front of Dad's house, some idiot smashed it and didn't leave a note. <laughs> Dad? What? I just think it's funny that he still thinks it's a hit and run. <laughs> you swore you wouldn't tell him. I didn't. <laughs> Why does a criminal return to the scene of a crime? Arrogance, hubris, or because he sleeps in the back bedroom and doesn't know what hubris means? <laughs> Dave? Sleep well. I never drove one. You still haven't driven one. You only wrecked one. I painted the house for you. Yeah, you missed a spot. I didn't notice when I wasn't drinking. <laughs> oh, huh. Dad, you think you got me, huh? Hmm. Dave. What? Come here. I forgive you. <laughs> Since you're in a forgiving mood, maybe you can forgive Tommy for having naked dreams about you. <laughs> dream, not dream. Fine, dream, one dream, one naked man dream. <laughs> You had a dream about me where you were naked? I wasn't naked, you were naked. Naked, <laughs> naked stop, no, naked stop. <laughs> Why did you tell I, him? I, she tells me everything. I, Who are you working I for? I did not tell your father about Tommy's naked dreams. Dream, one dream. And the nudity, it wasn't gratuitous, it was integral to the plot of the dream. <laughs> there was a plot? You were a pirate. Oh! <laughs> She didn't. I heard her tell her mom on the phone. You told your mother? My God, what does she think of me? Worry about what I think of you. I promise you are just being evil. You're trying to bury Christopher. You're not being fair. Well, you're right. You're right. I'm not being fair. Christopher, Aaron told me that you're afraid that one day you're going to snap just like your wacko mother. She's afraid, too. Fair enough. I can't believe that you said that. Blame the fall. I told you one of my deepest, darkest fears, and you told it to my other deepest, darkest fear. Your deepest, darkest fear about you 
is my deepest, darkest fear about you. Oh. Is that what you're afraid of, that I might go psycho and stab you with a fork? I'm not afraid for me. I'm just afraid that someday I'm not going to be able to reach you. That you'll start arguing with the coffee maker, <laughs> just like his mother. Christopher, <laughs> I love you. I loved his mother. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't want to do this here. No, you want to go home and post it on the website. <laughs> <laughs> don't you turn this around on me, mister. You're the one who started it. You lied to me. I lied to you because Dave wrecked my damn car. But Dave didn't take the money out of the shop. Money that I'm responsible for. Well, who writes the checks, you naked, dreaming freak? Oh. <laughs> Look who's snapping. Look who's snapping. How's it going to start? This is a whack job. Shut up, Dave. Uh, you shut up, overbite. No, you shut up, you big nose, big ass. Shut up. You shut up. <laughs> 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 favor, would you? The next time you have an intervention, make sure you invite me. <laughs> Wussy. <laughs> it's good to hear him laugh again. <laughs> if you have a problem, no matter what it is, there's a group you can call. But do me a favor. When you call, get the number right because nobody wants to be woken up at 3 a.m. and hear you whining about your petty little things. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna add that to the checklist. Okay, so it's death, gun violence, mental illness. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, this was an intervention to get to get his dad back on alcohol, and the other part was about the embezzlement. <sighs> this was not a normal sitcom. Oh. Pretty funny though. <laughs>